every object in R belongs to a class. And although I don't think it's necessary to remember all the different classes, it's important to know that there are classes and that they affect the way R handles the objects. For objects that store information, data sets and such, the most common classes are numeric, integer, integer is the same as numeric, but with only integers, no decimal numbers. Character, logical, that's true, false, factor, matrix, data frame and list. As you can see, the class of a vector is based on its contents. That is, a vector containing numeric information has the class numeric, while a vector containing character strings has class character. On the other hand, for matrices, data frames, and lists, the class is determined by the data structure itself rather than the content. The point of having classes for each object is that the commands that you provide an object to as an argument, the, these functions handle the objects differently depending on what class they belong to. For example, the mean function, which calculates the arithmetic mean of the data you provide it with, is actually six functions, six different functions, but they are all called mean. And then, depending on what class the object you try to get a mean of, is are calls for one of these six functions and uh, gives you the mean. So you don't have to remember the name of all the six functions or commands, but rather just give mean an object and uh, then you get the correct answer in return. Likewise, the function plot is really 32 different func functions, and uh, which function you get depends on the class of the object. In addition to the classes, each uh, object also has a mode. For a lot of objects, the mode turns out to be the same as the class, but not always. The mode is uh, usually determined by the contents of the object, not its structure. So different modes could be numeric, character, logical, list. List in this case stands for the mixed content, different modes mixed in the same object. If you have a matrix, for example, filled with numeric values, this matrix will get the mood numeric, while the class is still matrix because the data structure is matrix. While a matrix containing character strings will get mode character and class matrix. And a data frame will always have mode list because it contains mixed, or could at least contain mixed contents, mixed modes, while the class is data frame. And an interesting fact is that factors have mode numeric and class factor. And it might not be obvious why the mode is numeric, but the explanation is that the levels of the factor is stored internally as numeric values. So even though you see levels or labels for the levels, which might look like character strings, could be words of different kinds, the internal storage is numeric and the levels are simply numbered 1, 2, 3, 4. And for vectors the mode in class is usually identical with the exception for integers where the vector containing integers will get mode numeric and the class integer. <laughs>